All right, Aries, let's get into your reading. You are starting off with your overall energy. We have new life, clean it up, and truth be told. So I feel like either you're facing some kind of a truth here or some kind of truth came to light. You want to clean something up, some kind of a mess, um, and have this like fresh new start, new life, new beginning. Um, so I feel like there's some kind of transformation after gaining some kind of clarity or getting some kind of truth came out or came to light. Um, I am seeing one, two, three, four, right? So there's a progression happening with you. All right. Um, but I'm seeing the number 11. So maybe you look up angel number 11, see if there's a message there for you. All right, Aries, let's see what your person's overall energy is. What's going on? Loyal heart, round and round, exchanging gifts and community. And we have yin. All right. <sighs> Aries, Aries, Aries. I feel like your person is trying to, or their intention, I should say, they want equal give and take. I feel like they see you as a gift. Um, they could have been putting you through a cycle here, false starts, false hopes. Round and round and round we go, right? Um, community. So they could be well known in the community, work in the community. There could be a lot of people involved in this connection as well. And loyal heart. I feel like they do have some kind of loyalty when it comes to you. Faithful and loyal are two separate things. All right. So it could be if they weren't faithful, they were kind of coming back, leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back because they were loyal to you but maybe not so faithful, right? So I don't know, let's take a look and see um, if this is what's going on with your person. All right, current situation for Aries person. Aries, keep in mind when I say your person's energy, it could be yours, so feel free to flip flop and reverse the energies as you see fit, okay? All right, what's going on with Aries person? Juggling secrets, the high priestess, two of pentacles, so Pisces, scorpionic energy, following intuition. High priestess is also the keeper of secrets. Wow. All right. Were they breadcrumbing you, Aries? Were they stuck in another situation here? I feel like there's some stuck, stagnant energy with your person with the eight of swords. Hands are tied, stuck, blindfold, not seeing things clearly. Either this was not balanced, it was not equal give and take, or they want that, or they were breadcrumbing you, waiting. They were waiting for something here. Self-sabotage, conflict, could have been dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What's going on? What's going on? Why, why this Five of Swords? Why the waiting game? I feel like your person was like stuck in another connection or something. All right. Walls up, guards up, fighting the good fight, wounded warrior. They could have been very guarded here. If communication was lacking, I feel like this person wants to talk. So if they cut you off or ghosted you or there's been choppy communication, I feel like this person wants to talk. I feel like they have some fight in them for this connection, Aries. But there was something that they were waiting for because they were feeling stuck. There could have been secrets. They could have been juggling. That came out first, first energy here. For some of you, there's an age difference. Yeah, I feel like this person was in a higher level of commitments. And they were maybe you were the third party coming into this. They put you that way. Uh, let's see. Blockages, blockages, blockages for Aries and this person. Yeah, there was some <sighs> high stress, high anxiety, sleepless nights, overthinking, replaying events in your head about commitment, about a family dynamic. For some of you, you could have been married to this person or in a higher level of commitment with them let's see what else what's blocking 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 knight of swords actions not matching their words gaslighting rushing in rushing out causing chaos <sighs> gemini energy what else blockages blockages hmm. too many Blockages for Aries, blockages, blockages, the lovers, double Gemini energy now. <sighs> I feel like there was a choice in love here. 
somebody maybe couldn't make up their mind or decide what they wanted or they weren't seeing what this connection was. Yeah, someone was being a little bit of a player, Aries. Hey, hey, hey. Sagittarius energy, double Gemini energy. This person was very impulsive, I feel like. Um, I don't feel like they were grounded at all. Uh, I don't think they knew exactly what it was that they wanted. And that's why I feel like you were kind of going round and round, or they were. You found out the truth, though, here. Yep, so strength, Leo energy, justice, Libra energy. For some of you, this person's going through like a divorce, okay? When you met them or when you guys started engaging, for, for most of you, this is what I'm seeing. This person was married or in a higher level of connection or going through a separation, a divorce, something like that. I feel like they may have been going back and forth, back and forth and juggling here. All right. For others of you, you could have been married and they were doing the same thing. So take that how it resonates. But I do see some kind of someone being stuck in a commitment here. All right. Yeah, you guys weren't on the same page. You guys weren't building together for the same future. You weren't on the same page. There's a complete um, like imbalance going on here. Confusion, somebody holding back, unknown energies, drama, fighting, competition, too many people involved. I, I kind of was feeling that there was, there's a lot of people involved, I feel like, whether it's friends, family, you know, third party stuff. I just, I don't know. I feel like there's, there's too many people. All right, Aries, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you? They want to reconcile. They had a wake up call, judgment, scorpionic energy. Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra energy. They don't want to cut you off. They don't want this to be over. They want to reconcile with you. Don't they always? Why? Yeah, they want victory and success. They might be seeing that you're getting uh, a lot of attention right now, Aries. Like, you might be shining, you might be in the spotlight, starting a new life, doing your own thing, glowing up, <laughs> leveling up, lighting up. They could have left you with a complete mess that you're trying to clean up right now, but you're shining while you do it. You're definitely, you got some kind of spotlight on you. The tower, high, pre yeah, secrets, again, Gemini energy. Secrets came to light here, Aries, and everything came crashing down. And more Scorpionic, Pisces, Gemini energy. Wow. They know that they caused a tower moment because they were keeping secrets. Yep, they weren't protecting this connection here. They were being all willy-nilly. Now they want to reconcile and move move this wheel forward with you. They're trying to find some strength, courage, confidence, I feel like, to come towards you because now they have regrets. Now they're regretting it. Uh, Aries, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Potential outcome here. Keep in mind your free will. So do they. You can change your mind. So can they. All right, and use your own discernment. I'm not here to tell you what to do, all right? All right, potential outcome for Aries. Potential outcome. Trying to make a head over heart decision. Two of Swords. King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. With the wheel, planting seeds. Are you, are you now... Uh, Aries, are you now engaging with somebody new other than this person? And that's why that's why they like see you shining, see you getting attention. They don't like it and now they want to come back. You're planting seeds somewhere else. You're leaving this person behind and now they're all freaking out. Why, why did they 
they feel the energy disconnect or they see you like online or something. There's that Capricorn energy again. There's Scorpio and Capricorn showing up here for the outcome. Are you choosing between a water sign and an earth sign or what is going on? Hanged man, Pisces energy, pulling your energy back to gain some kind of clarity. Get you know, change your perspective. Change, um, gain some clarity. Change your perspective. Wow, <laughs> tongue tied. <laughs> yeah, you're you're uh, you might have a choice now here between two. They want to reconcile. Wow, they have big regrets. They have big regrets for treating you like an option. I think you're going to stay single, Aries, or just date. They're watching you, though. They are watching you online, social media, to see what you're up to. I think you are just doing you new life, cleaning up messes. Yep. I think you're taking time for yourself now. I, I don't know. They're, they're going to keep trying, though. They have big regrets here. But you may have a choice. Possibly a water sign and an earth sign. Could be anyone, but that's what I'm seeing here. All right, let's see. Biggest obstacle for Aries. Biggest obstacle for Aries in this connection. Biggest obstacle. Beyond illusion. Seeing through... The lies, deception, seeing the truth, silence, um, following your intuition here, going within an abundance, isolation. Are, are you isolating here, Aries? Are you just keeping to yourself? I mean, I feel like going into silence, doing reflecting and all that healing work is always good. But don't hold on to it for too long, okay? You have abundance, I feel, like knocking at your door. Know your value. Know your worth. Think positive, And I feel like things are going to start changing for you. You have something really positive happening for you. Some kind of a new life, new venture, something like that um, happening. You're regaining your independence. So I feel like this person left you with a, some kind of a mess or drama that you gotta clean up. All right, let's see, awakening. <laughs> you gave them a wake up call, Aries. Realization, progress, your twin is awakening to this connection, perception, red flags, delusion, perspective, see through your own false beliefs, or, you know, maybe you just need to, <sighs> there's probably red flags, you know? Romance, rebel, flow, savor, entice, open yourself to romance. You have somebody, you have somebody coming towards you. I feel like this other person was a runner. Escape from emotion and confusion on the run. Yeah, that's why they kept giving you the runaround. They didn't know how to face their own emotions, their own feelings. All right, what would this person like to say to you, Aries? I hope you can forgive me one day. My life is not together as it seems. I wonder if you are happy without me. I know that I crossed the line with you. I get one more, one more message. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, see, things came to light here, Aries. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, letters. Uh, could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name, could spell a word of significance. If they have the same first and last initial, feel free to duplicate it because they only have one of each. All right, what do we got here? I'm seeing T and L. P-F-S-R-I-C-B-U-G-N-J. So T-L, actually I'm seeing the letter K as well. T-L-K-Z. P-F-S-G-C-I-R-N-U-B-J. And for some reason my intuition was telling me to read the ones that are in there, so... All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, angel numbers, and age, a data significance, okay? Place it where you see fits. All right, we have two, seven, ten, and nine. So two, seven, nine, and ten. 
Um, could be the 2nd, the 7th, the 9th, the 10th of any month, the 27th, 29th, number 92, 97, 79, 72. Uh, it could be February, July, September, or October. All right, and now zodiac signs. Could be their sun sign, strong placements in their chart. Um, could also, something could happen in that season, like airy season, for instance, all right? So let's see, let's see. Ooh, we have triple Virgo. Triple Virgo and Pisces. I'm gonna roll two of the Virgos. Uh, Sagittarius and Taurus. So Virgo, Sag, Taurus, and Pisces. Could be any sign, you guys. They did have strong water. Um, Scorpio was very strong and Capricorn came through. Gemini was very strong as well. Um, but again, could be anyone. All right, use your own discernment. All right, Aries, that is what I have for you. 